Monday is Earth Day, and CBS News and stations are focusing on people who have the noble mission of trying to protect life here on Earth. And that involves us sending our national environmental correspondent, David Schechter, to the mountains outside Bisbee, Arizona, where a unique type of lizard is being forced from its home after millions of years. Very long time. David met a scientist studying the threat of extinction tied to climate change. This guy. They're actually, I, I love them. At just a few inches long. They look like they're smiling all the time. He's called a Yarrow's spiny lizard. Despite his tiny size, he has a huge story to tell about climate change and the very future of our planet. Everyone's got water. Is it bad that I'm already out of breath? We'll take it easy. I'm tagging along on a two hour hike with Dr. John Weens from the University of Arizona to count lizards and document how hotter temperatures are stressing them out. This is some serious stuff. Look, look it's about to flatten out. He says it's about to flatten out, but he's been saying that for an hour. Yarrow's lizards love the cooler mountain habitats across southern Arizona that are well above the hot desert floor. Because they can't take the heat down there, individual populations have been isolated from each other for millions of years in different mountain ranges. Just outside the town of Bisbee, a subpopulation of lizards has lived in the Mule Mountains for three million years. The one here around Bisbee is older than human beings. We anticipate that they're um, going to be entirely extinct here in the Mules by uh, next year, by 2025. They may be extinct already. Why does he think so? Well, in 2014, Weens and his colleagues could only find lizards in the Mule Mountains above 5,700 feet of elevation. Eight years later, he went back and the only lizards that hadn't died out were now above 7,100 feet. That left only a few hundred feet of mountaintop cool enough for them to survive. So they're almost out of room. A landmark report from the United Nations determined that one million species are threatened with extinction. Based on Dr. Weens's research, he believes that number is actually far higher, driven by the heat trapping gases that come from our cars, our factories, and our power plants. It's catastrophic. Um, as human beings sort of in, the, in the developed world, we all sort of have some responsibility for this. What do you do to look? We're gonna look on uh, top of rocks here. Um, a little sun is really helpful, but so they'll, they'll be out basking. They're very easy to find when, they're, when it's a sunny day. Does not seem to be anyone here. We'll need to confirm you come back here at least a couple more times, but it seems like this, this distinct lineage that's been separated for about three million years, is, looks like it's gone now. It's gone. Yeah. Is that, is that disappointing to you? Well, yeah, of course. It's, Ultimately, what's the story? This is what the future is going to look like. This is, this is climate-related extinction. Yarrow's spiny lizard populations survive in other parts of Arizona, though many are struggling too. Ween says the death of this local population around Bisbee shows us how climate change is quickening the pace of extinction. It's not only happening over centuries or decades, it's happening now. And David Schechter joins us now at the yes. table. It seems like these lizards are only going to exist in the future as little pins, yeah. and that's a problem. What's it like going to the top of a mountain where an animal that existed for three million years yeah. is no longer there? I've never experienced that sense of finality. To, to, you know, we, we thought maybe we would find it, it could possibly have been there, and then you, you're looking for something and it's gone, and it's been there for three million years, and I really, there really aren't words to, to put around that. It's such a big loss. You know? I, I'm, so I'm, for people, though, who were creeped out by lizards, just <laughs> You're afraid. one of them, huh? <laughs> didn't, didn't name names, David, but why is this considered a bad thing? Well, this, is, this lizard's like this perfect harbinger of what of climate-related extinction. This is particularly sensitive to heat, as many organisms are sensitive to heat. So just a few degrees of temperature puts this lizard beyond the stress and, and starts to kill it off. But a million species threatened with extinction, that is the number that sticks out to me. 26% yeah. of those are mammals, 37% uh, are sharks and rays, 41% uh, are amphibians. This is a real problem. We've yeah. changed the earth so significantly. It's, some of that is climate change, some of that is like land development, you taking up the areas where these yeah. creatures and plants live. Yeah. But it's, uh, it, it is a, as you said, it's a catastrophic problem. I Look. did like Dr. Ween's passion for it. I think it's important. And when you're on this rock called well, earth yeah. and you start looking around 
and the things that were here before are no longer here. Yeah. It's got to worry you a little bit. I don't care who you are. David, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate guys. it. And nice you can watch David's you. full special called Protecting Life on Earth right now on cbsnews.com slash climate.